Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to send an email in Power Apps. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give it a like, and also check out powerplats.com for your Power Apps needs. I'm trying to make these videos a bit shorter so that you can get along with creating your Power Apps without wasting more unnecessary time. So let's get started. Sending an email through Power Apps is actually a pretty simple process. All you need to do is connect your data source. So here we are in the Power Apps Studio. We click View, Data Sources. We add a new data source and we click on Outlook. And you're going to connect Office 365 Outlook, so let's click on that. And now that Office 365 is connected, we're going to close out that data source. And then let's check out the function. Let's go to Insert and then Create a Button. I'm going to resize the button here to make it easier for you guys to see. Let's increase that font size to 40. So this is our button to send an email. Let's call it send. And then inside the on select function of the button, we're going to type in office 365 outlook dot. And then after typing in that dot, you can see all the functions that outlook provides to send an email. We're going to go to send an email V2. So, send an email v2 is there so it's office 365 outlook dot send email v2 and then we have a parenthesis up here you can see our variables to what kind of email we're going to be sending and so the first one is going to be to who are we sending the email to next is subject and then the body so let's test this out first with hard-coded variables so i just created a new email called powerplats1 at gmail.com so let's hard code that in and then let's also type in a subject, test, and then a body, body. And so now whenever we press this button, we're gonna have this email sent. It's going to be our Gmail right there. We're gonna have our subject and then our body. So let's go ahead and test that out. Let's go over to our email here and then see if the email will send. And there it is, Henry Wong test. So we have our email from admin at telega.com and this is the body. We have the subject and the body. Now that we've tested our email with hard coded code, we can now go ahead and link it to a text input. So now you can have your users in Power Apps type in what email they want to send it to, or even just a subject and a body if you want them to send it to a specific email every time. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's make two text inputs here. And let's say this is going to be, let's put one more. So this is going to be the email you want to send it to. So our hint text is going to be email. And then we're going to erase our default text here. This is going to be subject. And this is going to be body. So now let's link that up. Text input 3-2.text. We're going to have text input dot text and then we're gonna have text input 3 one dot text so now our text input 3 underscore 2 and then text input 3 and then text 3 underscore 1 is going to send our email so let's test that out powerplats1 at gmail.com test 2 and then body 2 and then we're gonna send that email and let's check out if it sends. There it is, test two, body two. And just as a side note, you can also include HTML code in your body. Let's test that out here. Let's put in some HTML code for our body and make this bold and italicized. So our body two here is actually going to be some HTML code, so let's send that. And so now we should be getting an email called test2, but with the body and the body bolded here. And here it is, body2. To add on to that quick tip, you can also include the HTML code outside of your user body. So right here we have our text that our user is going to enter, but outside of that text, we can also include HTML code if you want that to appear in your email as well. So we're gonna have bold, we're gonna put in the ampersand, and then maybe we're gonna have another ampersand here and we're gonna include our non-bolded text from Power Apps. And there you go. So let's try that out. Let's play. And now we're gonna do our test body. 
and then we're going to send it. So let's check that out. So now we have our bolded text and then from Power Apps. So that's how you send an email within Power Apps and then some quick tips along with it. Make sure you check out powerplats.com if you need some help with Power Apps, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.